How do I make a banner for my content page? Using a program such as Canva will allow you to create a banner for your pages that is quick and simple. Log in to your Canva account with your Oconee County Schools email address or find it in the waffle once you log in. And then in the search field, type in Canvas Banners. <clears throat> once you find Canvas Banners, you can peruse through the different templates that are here, or you can use a blank template to design a custom banner. I'm going to pick one of these just to show you how to do one very quickly. We'll pick the beach. Once you click the beach, it opens up and it shows you a picture of the banner and you have text and an image. It could be colored like this Valentine one over here on the side. It could be anything that you want it to be. Everything on this banner is now customizable. I can click on the welcome and change the font if I want to. I can increase or decrease the size, change the color, do any of the different effects that I want to with that text. I can also change the name here from uh, Mrs. Smith's to Mr. Felker's classroom if I wanted to. I can add other elements <clears throat> if I wanted to. I could throw in something else, like if I wanted to find a seashell to go along with a beach scene. And let's just pick these. So now there's the seashells. And we can make them smaller. And we've added an element. And I can add anything I wanted to, whether it's text, a background, uh, a photo that I've pulled, anything that I've uploaded to my computer, I can add that in. Um, if I wanted to put the logo on there, I can actually put the Oconee Schools logo. Drag that up to the top right corner. Oh, wrong one. Let me click this one. Click off the trouble. And then drag it up. And so now I have the logo on <clears throat> my banner and I'm ready to download it. So I simply go up to download. I would suggest that you have PNG or JPEG as the, one of the two uh, file types that you're going to use. And then you can adjust the size here. You don't need to. It's already set to be this. And Canva, Canvas is going to make it fit on your page regardless. Transparent background, yes or no, compress the file and then save your download settings so you don't have to change this every time you can do that. And you click download. It puts a pop-up window at the bottom to let you know that it's downloading. And now we have to name it. We're just going to save it to our desktop so we can find it easily. And close that window and then close this window. Okay. Then we'll jump back to the sandbox page. <clears throat> and edit this page. As soon as the page loads, we can click up here, get rid of the word banner. Click on the rocket ship. Go to the desktop. Find your picture. And now you have your picture there. You can put alternate text over this. So for screen readers, you could say, welcome to Ms. Smith's classroom. Or you could simply click that it's a decorative image and the screen reader would not uh, try to determine what that is for the student or for the user. Click Submit. And now my banner is on the top of my page. Remember to always scroll down and click Save. And when the page comes back, now I have my banner at the top of the page. And now I can build my content with my welcome message and my buttons or other links. <clears throat>